Alright guys, so one thing I did forget is the hard drives. So let's go ahead and install them real quick. First off, let's get rid of this mess. Just putting everything aside for right now. I'm going to be installing first the mechanical drives. So let's see. I'm going to be using the 3.5 HDs. HDDs. All right. I have three. Thankfully, they have three slots down here, so I'm good. All right. Just screw them in here. So the first one, it's not going to have a tray. I'm just going to slide it into the bottom. And actually, this looks like they're going to be screwed in from the bottom. Kind of an odd choice, I would say. But hey, you fit what you can, right? All right, so I'm just taking these off. Actually, rather than take them off, they don't go on the side, sorry about that. They actually go on the top, on the bottom, sorry. So we just grab the tray, you see there's four holes here, and there's also four holes here. All right, so let's see, how are these gonna go? All right, so they're gonna go like that. The longer part faces inside of the case. And we can first put them in there by hand so that we can easily screw them in afterwards quickly. All right, now we just tighten them. Now we just easily slide them in. All right. And with these guys, we just screw that in right over here. All right. Easy enough. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just install the one on the bottom first. So what I'm going to do is just lay the case down flat. All right, and you can see the holes right here where the hard drives would go or hard drive would go. First we got to do it by eye. Can't really see in the case. Very odd placement down here, I would say. But hey, whatever works, right? shine some light with my cell phone on this one. All right, got one. I don't think I got it. Sure didn't. That would have been too easy.
All right, so I got one. This took me a minute. put it in a tray and we match up the holes and now we just screw it in just installed three mechanical hard drives all right and now we have the three SSDs so ah, look at that easy enough by hand oh. all right and let's see how these go they tell you down here at the very bottom to have them facing down. Now for this we're going to need the 2.5 inch SSD screws. 2.5 inch HDD and CD-ROM even though there is no CD-ROM here. But hey they need to mass produce these so you know Makes a little more sense to make everything the same. All right. Now you can either screw them in from the bottom or screw them in from the side. I'm just doing from the bottom because that's what I chose first. And we'll just pop it back in. Very easy hard drive and SSD placement. I liked what they did. And then this one, I'm just going to plug into the side, screw into the side. Just show you that you could do it both ways. snaps back in really easily
just slides right in. Alright, so we're done with that one piece. Okay, so now, so I know we need to install the video card and the PCIe SSD, but since we are going to have to get some cables around, let's go ahead and do cabling first. Alright, so that'll be the next video in the series.